Geordi Hulls have taken sailing where it has never been. Finally, America's Cup 33 has been decided on the water. February 14, 2010, Valencia, Spain. The America's Cup is America's again. When you win the America's Cup, you become the defender, and that gives you the right to define the next event. And um, you set the place, the time, the type of boat, and you get to define a lot about the racing uh, for the next America's Cup. You do that together with your challenger record, and then the other challengers join in um, in that process. But as a defender, the interesting thing is you don't really race until the America's Cup. So you're forced to prepare somewhat in isolation. So the challengers are racing off against each other and the strongest challenger will meet us in the America's Cup. But in our case, we're the only defender, so we're working in-house to prepare ourselves to race the strongest challenger. Is it good or bad to be the defender? It's a tough question. Uh, in my experience, it is difficult because you have to you have to simulate that really competitive racing, and and it's difficult to do because the challengers are racing for their continued competition. They're they're fighting for their lives really to stay in the contest. But the defender, we're just sort of simulating this contest between our buddies, you know, dancing with your sister sort of thing trying to simulate the, the level of uh, intensity and competition that the challengers have. And uh, that, that is tricky and hard to do. Big effort from the shore guys, boat builders, to maintain these two boats like this so you can get out there two days in a row. We've sailed every day this week. Big effort and um, you know, but we're reaping the rewards. I think now that we've kind of got over this hurdle and seen that we can go out there and put two boats in the water, the depth we've got in the sailing team, you know, the talent, the support crew we've got behind us, I think we can get a lot of good lessons out there and I'd say at the moment we're getting better you know better two boat sailing than what you know certainly the challenges are getting right now at this stage. I think uh, being the defender, you've, you know, it can be good and it's also bad in the sense that we don't have the same kind of race practice that the, that the challengers have. But having said that, we've got more of a lead up time, so we've got more time to you know, develop and, and it's got its advantages and I think we're kind of maximising that with two boats on the water. You know, these are the coolest boats in the world and being able to sail with you know, two 70 footers doing um, 35 knots you know, within one boat length of each other downwind is pretty awesome.
it's been really valuable having two boats on the water. Um, we've learned a fair bit in the short time we've had them out there, and uh, I think it's progressed the program pretty big time. It does push you, but I don't think it'll push you like racing will push you. You know, any any time we can treat it like a race, we do, and uh, it's been been really positive.